First, you go from taking steroids. Then you're talking about digging George Floyd up. And Welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale. And today, we are talking about Stephen Jackson blasting Ryan Garcia after he used racist slurs. Check it out. Listen, first, you go from taking steroids. <sighs> then you're talking about digging George Floyd up. in. Now you're talking about you hate niggas and you want to join the KKK? <sighs> Look, dog, you need, you need to get some help, bro. Because uh, we don't play by the same rules that you play by in that ring, dog. And I'm just telling you. Just like I told you in the DM when you said some flash that I told you to get some help because it's a whole different ball game out here, bro. Anybody that got to bring up the dead is dying inside. You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You're looking for attention. You're trying to live a life that, that you didn't grow up in. You're not that, Ryan. Okay? You're a boxer. Stick to that, bro. Keep George Floyd's name out your mouth. If you hate niggas and want to join the KKK like you said on Clubhouse, go ahead. Just don't fuck with us. And don't expect us to fuck with you. People say the, tr the really shit when they drunk. Facts. A motherfucker can cheat and take steroids to win and y'all still support him. That's sad. But that goes to show why a lot of y'all sit on Instagram and ain't accomplished nothing in life. Ain't won, ain't did nothing. Because y'all support cheating. If you got to cheat to win in anything, you're not that. You're not really good. And you don't belong doing that if you got to cheat. It's just that simple. Real winners never respect cheaters. I never cheated a day in my life in any sport and never will. And been a champion on every level. If you got to cheat, you don't belong in a sport. I can't believe they just banned him for a year. They should have banned him for life. Ain't got enough confidence in yourself, so you got to cheat. There's something Sam. going horribly wrong with Ryan Garcia at this point. We saw, you know, maybe for like a year now, he's been on Twitter just saying all these things that are out of character. Because before he became trending, before he became viral, he was quiet. Right? I remember he had his little Spanish wifey. And um, he used to talk about being a Christian and representing all the Christian athletes. I think it was before the Haney fight. And he just flipped the switch. The, something just flipped in his brain. Where all of a sudden he just became random. He just became, became unpredictable. Where he's saying all this stuff. He's doing all this stuff. He's drinking beer. You know, he's talking all kind of nonsense on Twitter. He's saying that, oh, he went to a place where there was, um, what was it, little kids in the woods and all, all sorts of crazy stuff on Twitter. And then coming towards the fight, he began with that nonsense as well. But now, you know, he's crossed the line, obviously. Right? He's talking about. He hates Muslims and so on. And then he said the N-word and all this type of stuff. And disrespected George Floyd. So he's obviously gone off the edge. He was on the edge right, for the past six to eight months. Now he's gone off the edge. So Stephen Jackson had to go for him. Because that's because George Floyd is Stephen Jackson's boy. Right, he knew him. He facilitated the whole situation that happened to George Floyd. With him ended up passing away and it was a touchy situation for all black people in north america ryan garcia is just so out of touch that he didn't know a statement like this you know, would have many black people upset maybe 50 60 70 percent of black people upset i mean does javante davis tank davis still support him floyd mayweather do these guys still support him at this point after all of this disrespecting muslims disrespecting black people Right, this guy is really like he really needs help at this point. Right, or he might lose his life. Who knows? Or right, you have Stephen Jackson posting that it sh he should meet up with him, or meet up with some goons or something like that. So it's a dangerous situation. You know, he needs to watch out, this guy. But um, yeah, I just want to show you guys that video, what Stephen Jackson's saying and what's going on. You know, in the popular media when it comes to sports. That's about it. So until next time.